where it cost me nine cents per bag. Welcome back to the channel. I'm JC with j and &E Eclectics. In today's video, I want to talk about all about branding. What we use to brand j and &E Eclectics, our print shop and our company, and also how much it costs. So stick around. All right, so when we get down to branding, you've seen in some of the videos, I'll wear either Janie Eclectic shirt. This is one of the first shirts when we were testing out DTF or direct to film. And then our hat that we embroidered ourselves. So it goes beyond just the apparel, right? So if you've got an apparel company, definitely make sure you've got a hat and at least one shirt or a hoodie or something with your logo. It'd be kind of weird to see someone who's like, oh yeah, I got my own apparel company and you don't have any apparel with your own logo on it, right? But that's not just branding, that's kind of low hanging fruit. So taking it a step further, one thing that we do, all of our orders, no matter what you order or what quantity, will come in custom mailers. So we've got poly mailers that we'll send out single or even a few uh, lower quantity shirt orders out in. And I'll get to the price once I go through kind of everything here. So we'll send one or two shirts in these. We've got larger bags for the hoodies. And then of course, if you're doing apparel, you have to have stickers. So we've got stickers with, this is our original logo, not the one that we put on our clothing. We've got a separate logo that you'll see on the website and that's just our branding for actual um, products. This is what we put on all of the stuff that we use for branding and shipping. Outside of stickers and poly mailers, we have our own custom pop sockets. So with these, anybody that orders usually more than one shirt at a time, we'll pop in one of these pop sockets. We'll pop in one of these pop sockets. We'll toss a, a pop socket in their order <clears throat> and then you know, that's cool if they want to put it on their phone. I mean, when you're growing or when you're starting to grow, not a lot of people that see this are going to know what it is. But if you see j and &E Eclectics and Specialty Prints, it could be a good conversation starter. Maybe somebody sees it, asks where they got it, and they happen to be wearing a shirt that they ordered from us at the same time. Boom. Now they're out there marketing your business for you. Right? That's how word of mouth works. Moving up, so when we get certain hat orders and some hoodies, we've got this box. So this is one of the very first boxes that I ordered. And this is the uh, Establishing Quarantine and Specialty Prints box all around the side with the logo on the front. And this is a foldable box. So we measure this out. We didn't actually fit usually five shirts and a hoodie or five shirts and a few hats in this one box. And then we will mail this box out. And to go on that box to tape it shut, we even have our own box tape, right? So we have several rolls of this tape. It's got our logo on there. I mean, if you're gonna cover the box with tape anyway, might as well be more branding. So we've got our own custom tape. And then if it's a larger quantity, these are our medium sized boxes. So again, it's got a smaller logo, but it's also got our website down at the bottom. And then some of the socials at the top. So Facebook and Instagram there. And all of these I ordered at the same time I ordered all of the machines because I knew no matter how long it takes for you to grow, you're eventually going to get there. And I'd rather have something I'm ready to grow into than say, oh wow, I've got 100 orders today or I've got a shirt order of 100 shirts today and I don't want to put them in single mailer bags. I don't want to just toss them in a random box. So I got boxes for each stage of kind of growth or bulk orders. That way I would be ready to send something out and it would look professional coming from j and &E Eclectic. So we do have a third box which I don't have with me and they're all bundled together, but they're really large boxes. Something you might get from UPS or FedEx when you order your own blank shirts if you're doing your own apparel. So we do have pretty much every stage covered. Then if we sell a shirt through the website uh, that might be pre-made, we have clear poly mailers and we'll still put those inside of our own custom poly. So now let's get down to cost. When looking at starting your own business, you have to understand what your overhead is gonna be and what all of the small price points are gonna be for you. So you know the cost of the big printer and the heat press, but breaking it really, really far down so that you understand how much of your order that's coming in is your profit and how much is going back to paying for all the utilities and equipment that was used. So these mailer bags, I actually purchased these uh, two or three months after we got our equipment and we knew we were gonna start making orders and I ordered them in a large bulk. I ordered 4,000 of them. I got 4,000 of them because larger quantities got the cost down to where it cost me nine cents per bag. So 
If you look, you can buy ones on Amazon that are blank and don't have a logo, and I think it's around 12 to 15 cents per bag. So I actually got this custom with my logo and my website on it for less than what it would cost you to buy these blank on Amazon because I was willing to buy them in such large quantity. I bought the Polly Miller bags from Alibaba. So you can go on there and you can find um, different sources, talk to different vendors, and one of the biggest headaches or concerns you might see when people talk about Alibaba is, is it trustworthy and is it gonna take six months to get here? So what I do is I always reach out and I partner with vendors that I'm already familiar with, but I also have honest reviewed or ratings. If they have five stars and one review, you probably don't wanna to go to them. But if you see thousands of other people have ordered and left good comments, not comments that were bought or put in themselves, well then you have a pretty good chance that this is a legitimate event. So I'll actually reach out, a lot of them will call me on the phone and I'll talk to them in person and say, okay, this is what I need and then make sure that that's what I'm gonna get. So it didn't take six months for those Polly Miller bags to get here. I think it took 20 days, which isn't bad. The first five to seven days was really them manufacturing the bag. And then it has to go out by sea shipment. You can get it faster if you wanna pay more for shipping by air. So we get to the folding boxes. So there's a company here in the United States called Zebra Prints. I ordered these boxes from them and it cost me about $1.50 per box because I only ordered 100 boxes when I first placed my order. Now I went with Zebra Prints because they had this style of box versus um, some other box makers out there. You can go with Uprint or something like that. But these were, I wanna say cheaper per box for the quantity I wanted and they weren't gonna force me to order thousands of these at first either. So about $1.50 per box. Only issue I had when I ordered these was that they didn't actually send my entire order. They sent 50 at a time. So after about two weeks, I got the first 50 boxes but they had sent both tracking numbers and realized they never actually sent from their warehouse my second fit. The good thing is they made it right and refunded the actual shipping cost. All right, so these boxes, I don't remember the exact name of the company, so forgive me if you're out there and you're watching and you're like, oh, we made that box for you. I wanna say it's branded boxes and they have a lot of different styles you could choose from. And so this is just our, our more medium sized box here and it costs a little bit extra. So the logo you'll see is a lot smaller than what it was on the foldable box. And that's because they don't charge by size of print, but you have to keep the print within a certain um, dimension. And I wanted to put the website at the bottom and the social media at the top. So I wanna say it was actually a dollar extra for each of these print locations as well but then they print it on each side of the box. So all four sides of the box will have the exact same print image. Uh, these boxes I, I order in sets of 250 and they cost me about $1.75 per box. So if you think I've got $1.75 sitting here in inventory in this box, well not really. We get a lot of bulk orders, people who reach out through the website or through Instagram and they'll wanna order 20 to 50 to 100 shirts depending on what they need. And we'll send them out in these boxes all the time. And at $1.50, $1.75 per box, doesn't really add much to the shipping. And usually for large bulk orders, we don't even charge shipping. So 25 shirts, uh, if they're stacked like flat on top, but we usually get creative and line them up sideways, kind of like a filing cabinet. And that's our medium size. So we have an even larger box. So the larger box does have a bigger print on it. And then that one was more like $2.75 per box. So a little bit more expensive, but I also only order them in, in sets of 100. So then we get to the tape. So the tape, <clears throat> I want to say I actually got 400 rolls of this tape and it was about a $1.80 um, per set of four or five. Once I was looking to get my Polly Miller bags done through Alibaba, I actually got my stickers done through Alibaba as well. These only cost me three cents a piece because I bought 5,000 stickers. So the reason I bought, you might be thinking, 5,000 stickers. The reason I bought 5,000 is because I'm tossing two plus in every single order. So if you look in a week, I mean, earlier today we were making a video, Ashley knocked out three or four shirts, plus the two different orders that were already done. And that's 10 stickers right there in just a single order in one or two hours of the day. Think about how many orders you're gonna get throughout the day. Then think about every time you go out and you talk to another company about maybe getting their business, you leave a business card, maybe you leave some stickers. Three cents per sticker. So I actually have the, the breakdown of several of the things we got. Then I bought our pop socket on Alibaba as well. And these, I got 100 of them for 30 bucks. So 30 cents per pop socket on Alibaba. And these actually came within two weeks. These came really quick. So one thing we started looking into was because they were so cheap on Alibaba, we might send them several different logos. We may, we may make a new logo specifically for the pop socket that has something to do with um, another thing, like maybe our podcast. So I think that's the main cost breakdown. And then I've actually got the order here. It cost me $460 total for the 
poly mailer bag. So that's including shipping and everything for 4,000 uh, of these. So it was nine cents per poly mailer and I bought 4,000 of them. So you could do the cost difference there was in shipping from China. So even then $460 for 4,000 poly mailer bags. You won't find a deal like that if you're trying to buy them from Amazon. And they won't be branded from your company. So now that you've seen the types of things that we're using for branding, I'm gonna explain a little bit more why they're important. So definitely you wanna have clothing if you're a clothing apparel company with your own brand on it. But think about how important it's gonna to be to your customer that they get more branding. So if the more products that you have when you're trying to get a customer, it's just more products you might be able to sell to them in the future, or that, that might get them thinking about how important branding is. So say I'm wearing this hat when I go out and I grocery shop. Maybe I get a comment, it's like, hey, it's a nice hat. And I can say, thanks, I made it. That's our company, here's a business card. So you kind of want to take that mindset into everything you're doing. So if a company, even if you're just selling on Etsy, you have a little Shopify store, think about it from a standpoint of customer gets a blank package arrives, they open it up and it's a t-shirt you made. Cool, they might give you your five star uh, rating on Etsy or Shopify. Think about the impact it's gonna have on that customer when your package shows up branded. Now, we might even sell stuff on Etsy, but still we have our own website. And I'll put that on our boxes, on our mailer bags. That way, maybe they only saw us on Etsy because of one item that we had, but now they can go to our website and see all the other things that we offer. I know I've worn this hat in the video, um, Esley's wore his shirt in a couple of videos and I don't always wear it because don't want to look like it We shot 10,000 videos in one day, but you know, it is important to make sure you're branding. All right Thanks for staying for this video Make sure you like comment and subscribe to us for more information like this in today's video We went over all the things that we use in our Janie Eclectics business for branding How we brand our business how we try to put our logo on as many things as possible And we also talked about why that's important and why you might want to look into branding into more than just a single item for your business as well. All right, thanks for watching today's video. And if you guys want custom apparel, you want your own hat, shirt with your logo on it, or anything that you see on our website, hit us up on Instagram at JNE underscore eclectics, on our website at www.jneeclectics.com, or right here in the comments below. See you on the next one.